Okay, let's get a little practice doing something very important, and that's how to use the periodic table to determine how many protons, neutrons, and electrons an element has. And for now, we're going to just deal with neutral pure elements. So here's a periodic table, and you need to be able to figure out for any given element how many protons, neutrons, and electrons it has. So let's do a little practice with that, and I'm going to use the example of something fairly simple like... Lithium. Okay, so let's look a little bit closer at that. Lithium. All right, in fact, actually, I'll draw a bigger version of that. So the box says lithium, and it has a 3 on top, and it says 6.941 at the bottom. And in various versions, you might see these numbers moved around a bit, but you always see a bigger number and a smaller number and the element symbol. So how do we use this? First of all, you have to memorize that the smaller number is called the uh, atomic number, and the bigger number is called the atomic mass. So the atomic number will tell you a couple of things. It tells you how many protons it has. Now, assuming it's neutral, a proton is positive, an electron is negative. So in order to be neutral, if it has three protons, it needs three electrons to balance it out in order to give it a ne neutral charge. So for a neutral element, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So number of protons, that's my favorite abbreviation for proton right there, is three. Number of electrons, that's my favorite abbreviation for electron right there, is also three. So just to be clear, P equals proton, E minus equals electron. Now, how many neutrons, yes, that's my favorite abbreviation for N with superscript zero equals neutron. How many neutrons are there? Not necessarily three. Number of neutrons is often not the same as the number of protons. Here's what you have to do. We're going to find an average based on this. This is actually a decimal because it tells you, on average, the total number of things in the nucleus. Um, but different versions of lithium have different amounts. So we'll get to that when we talk about isotopes. But here's what you do. Round to the nearest whole number. which in this case means rounding to seven. Seven represents number of particles in the nucleus. So what this is telling you is on average, lithium has seven particles in its nucleus. Of the seven particles in its nucleus, three are protons. So let's zoom in on the nucleus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven particles. Okay, what it's saying is three of them are protons. And you have to ask yourself, do you remember what else is in the nucleus? Not electrons. Electrons are outside. So it must be neutrons are the other things in the nucleus. So, number of protons plus number of electrons, sorry, it's number of protons plus number of neutrons equals this, the number here that's written, this if it's rounded to the nearest whole number. So, the, um, the atomic mass. So, here's the thing. You take this number, rounded to the nearest whole number, so that's 7, minus the number of protons, and that gives number of neutrons. So... The mass number minus number of protons equals number of neutrons. That's how you're going to go about figuring it out. Okay, another example. Let's do the example of, uh, oh, let me look it up, chlorine. Let's see, uh, the number would be, I don't remind myself exactly what the number was, 35.453. And it's got the number 17 on there somewhere. Protons, neutrons, 
electrons. As a quick reminder, the smaller number is the number of protons. Number of electrons is the same as the number of protons. And this, we're going to round that to the nearest whole number. Don't round up. If it's next, when you round to the nearest whole number, that means you round here. And this is next to a 4. Remember, if it's next to 4 or less, you round down. If it's next to 5 or above, you round up. So this 6 is next to a 9. That's why I rounded up to a 7. This 5 is next to a 4, so we're going to round down to 35. So having said that, I'm going to take 35, which this rounds to, minus this number, 17, because it's there's 35 things in the nucleus. 17 of them are protons, which 35 minus 17 gives 18, and that's the number of neutrons. All right, that's how it goes. Here, try out a few. And get a blank piece of paper. Okay, get a periodic table in front of you and look at these elements. I'd like you to find the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons for each of the following things. I'll make a little chart here. Let's do helihydrogen, beryllium, arsenic, lead, and uh, let's see, the heaviest natural element, uranium. Just in case you're having a hard time finding that, it's number 92 on the periodic table. The rest of these, you should be able to find them. Just scan through and look. Go ahead and give them a shot. Pause the video now, see if you can figure it out. I'm going to go through the answers and explain each one. All right. So let's begin with the number of protons for each. Hydrogen. Element number one, one proton. Beryllium is element number four, four protons. Arsenic is number 33. Lead is number 82. And uranium is element number 92. Therefore, it has 92 protons, 82 protons for this one, 33 protons for that one, etc. Um, remember, we assume the number of electrons is the same. One, four, 33, 82, 92. Now, number of neutrons. Um, when I look at hydrogen, it's got this number. This rounds down to 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0 neutrons. Okay, again, because the mass number rounds to 1 and the mass number minus the number of protons is uh, treated as 0. All right, now, beryllium. Beryllium, it says 9.012. So beryllium, this number down here rounds to 9. So 9 minus 4 is 5 neutrons. Arsenic, let's do the same thing. Arsenic, if you can see it right there, 74.92, that rounds to 75. So 75 minus 33 is, uh, let's see, 75, 45, should be 42, right? 75 minus 33, just checking. All right, 42 it is. 42 neutrons. Lead. Let's see, here we go. That rounds to 207, so 207 minus 82. Doing it on a calculator just to make 100% sure I don't say a wrong number. 125. So 82 protons, 82 electrons, 125 neutrons. Finally, uranium. There it is. Rounds to 238 when you round to the nearest whole number. So 238 minus 92. 238 minus 92 equals 146. Okay, that's how you do it. It's always just this 
minus this gives the number of elect number neutrons for any element on the periodic table, and that's just how it works. All right, there we have it.